Nebraska's crumbling bridges hits close to home for the people of Nebraska City. They gathered tonight demanding answers about a major road that will be closed for three years until the state and city can afford to build a new bridge. One state senator says it's part of a larger infrastructure issue. Okay, TV News Watch 7's Dave Roberts reports. It's been a major inconvenience for Nebraska City drivers, and it will be for another three years. The closure of this deteriorating bridge. And depending on who you talk to, this kind of detour could be headed towards your community. In some cases, looks mean everything. The Fourth Corso Viaduct is one of those cases. Rust, holes, it's falling apart, and people cut off by the closed bridge feel unsafe. If we do have an emergency up in the in town, and if there happens to be a train on the track at that point, maybe 10 or 15 minutes before they can make it around. The news got worse when neighbors found out it would be closed for three years. Three years is way too long. It didn't even take them three years to build the bridge the first time. It's surprising to find out that there's been no, no money set aside and no plans made. Was the city unprepared for this closure? No, the city knew that we weren't prepared for the closure. We thought that the bridge would sustain us. We would be able to sustain the bridge until we actually replaced it. Mm -hmm. But then actually doing some of the repairs and looking at the bridge closer, it was in worse shape than what we anticipated more quickly. A standing room only crowd demanded the road reopen quickly. Unfortunately, as the state's bridges deteriorate, other cities might find themselves in the same situation. Is this a sign of a bigger problem that the infrastructure in our state's failing faster than we can get around or to repair is. it? It certainly is. I mean, we have documented proof the state has the numbers of bridges that are over 20 foot in the state are behind deficit, and we're behind on the funding as well. Is this a sign of a much bigger problem that infrastructure like bridges are failing faster than the state can get around to fixing them? Oh. We have a lot of bridges that need work, and we do a lot of work to keep them together, and we have a lot of people dedicated to evaluate them and not leave bridges open that are a problem. I think we're gaining on it. We have been gaining on it. The city says it could have fixed this bridge for about $1 million, but because of that high price tag, they decided to put that money towards a new bridge that costs roughly $10 million. And even though the crowd tonight is begging them to find a faster solution, it's not likely going to happen. In Nebraska City, Dave Roberts, KETV, News Watch 7.